Welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how to do channel swapping for infrared uh, photographs in GIMP. GIMP is a uh, free open source uh, image editing software and uh, so let's get started. I'm going to go up to file and find an infrared uh, picture right here and we're going to start with one that is just a standard uh, filter on this and so it's a standard infrared filter which is 720 nanometers and we're going to open this up and because we're in GIMP it's going to open up uh, raw therapy uh, which is a raw imaging um, uh, piece of software to do the conversion to bring it into GIMP um, but anyway so n now all we have to do is shut raw therapy and it will now bring it into GIMP I'm going to keep the color profile that it has. This came out pretty good. A lot of times with uh, infrared um, images, it tries to recolor balance uh, the photo and it will turn kind of reddish. But you can correct that or bring it out in a couple of different ways, which we'll see in another example. This one actually came out um, balanced fairly well. Uh, it, it looks like a negative, basically. And what we're going to do is swap the channels so that the sky is blue and it, it gives you kind of a natural reference point. You can change an infrared um, photograph to any colors that you really want, uh, but usually we shoot for making the sky blue because it, it, it gives us kind of a natural reference point and then everything else is kind of what's known as fake color. So this looks very monochromatic also. So so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to colors. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to components and channel mixer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this, this down, the red channel. We're going to bring the red in the red channel down and we're going to bring the blue up. And um, what we need to do is we need to put this at one and make sure that the other thing up here is at zero. Oops. All right, so that we've we've swapped one of the channels up here. Now we're going to go um, down to the blue channel and we're going to turn the blue down to zero on the blue channel, and we want to get the uh, red up to one. You can do that either by clicking on this bar or typing in to where the values are. So basically you're gonna you're gonna swap channels by um, putting the level of blue up to one on the red channel and the red on the red channel down to zero and vice versa on the blue channel. So we're gonna click OK here and uh, you can see the sky is now blue, but the color of the f foliage is li a little blue too. The, the color is off, so there are a few ways you can adjust this. Uh, one way is you can go in and you can go to auto and go to auto white balance and see what happens. And uh, that actually looks really good right there. Another thing you can do is you can go up to colors and you can go to levels. And you can select this gray right here and you can pick what you want as gray. So if we pick this as a gray, you can see it changes the color slightly. If we pick this as gray, it will change it as well. So depending on what you pick, you could also pick one of the clouds and change that as well. I'm gonna hit cancel here because I kind of like the original color that it brought out just using the auto uh, white balance. So be aware that you can try auto white balance or you can pick a color as well to kind of adjust it. And even then from there, you can go in and, and manually uh, adjust the colors. But this gets you in the ballpark. Um, so, so that looks pretty nice right there. Uh, this right here and these up here are, are lens flares. Uh, a lot of times when you're shooting into the sun, um, with an infrared converted camera, it's actually more apt 
to flare than just a regular camera. All right, so we're going to do another um, photo just to show you what it's like. And we're going to do uh, what uh, LifePixel, which is a company that converts cameras, they call uh, it super color infrared, um, but it's actually 590 nanometers. And what it does is it lets a little more of uh, the actual blue spectrum come in. And so I have another photograph that was sh shot pretty much from the same angle in the same place. It was a, a different day, I think. Or no, it was the same day, I think. So let's go up here. And uh, so th this one was taken on the 17th. And if we go to this other one, I believe this was on the 17th as well. And so we want this picture right here. And we're going to open it. And so it opens up raw therapy again. And we're just going to close raw therapy and it's going to pull it into um, GIMP. Raw therapy acts as a plug-in to um, bring raw photos into uh, GIMP. We're going to keep the color profile that it has. Uh, now, so, now, this you can see it kind of has an orangish cast. This, this happens sometimes. And part of it is the way... Uh, um, or part of it can be the way uh, a particular program will try to white balance certain things. In this case, this is this is going to look different anyway because it's a 590 nanometer um, image. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to color. Let's try auto white balance first. And uh, well, that's a, that's an interesting effect. Uh, uh, we'll stick with that. You can actually white balance it before or after. Uh, so you can experiment with that. Let's go into components and go to channel mixer. And we're going to do the same thing with, with this. So we're going to swap the channels the same way we did before. And you see that, uh, with this particular filter, the, um, the foliage turns red or orange. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to make sure that this is zero. And I'm going to make sure that this is one. And the same down here, we want this to be one though. And this to be zero and then we're gonna go okay so that so that's that's a perfect swap right there all right so now we have uh, the color swapped in this and we're going to go over and we're going to go to um, levels again and we're gonna pick gray and so we can kind of pick different colors to see what we like best Or we can just cancel it and go with what we had started off with. So we can tweak it from here uh, to make it look a little warmer, a little cooler, however you want it to look. So that's how you swap channels in GIMP uh, if you're doing infrared photography. This has been Photo Blue, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.